I wake up between 6.30 and 7 o'clock in the morning, and I go to work. I work six days a week, and I've been doing that for 35, 40 years. I do whatever I can for my daughter. I mean, that's my baby. She's, uh, she's quite a kid. I thought I had a cold. So I was coughing, and I was just going to the local drugstore and buying any kind of cough medicine or anything I can get for the cough. And I kept on working through the cough. Went on quite some time. And I even called my doctor and I said, listen, this cough is not going away. Till finally, he decided that I should get a um, X-ray of my chest. My doctor called me and said, Mark, it's determined you have small cell lung cancer. My father died of cancer. My sister died of cancer. My grandfather died of cancer. Yeah. Small cell lung cancer is a aggressive disease. It takes people's lives. If you survived a year to 18 months, that was good. All I thought about was curing the cancer, hopefully, before my daughter got married. That's my biggest concern. We had a discussion at the very beginning about what the options were. Chemo by itself for small cell lung cancer hasn't really changed in 25 years. So at John Thorough Cancer Center, we have a very dynamic relationship with the Center for Discovery and Innovation. We bring true discovery, true innovation, new ideas for both diagnostics and treatment and supportive care. When I first was there and they were telling me about what's gonna happen, how the chemo is, how this is, we also have an option for a, a trial drug. We put him on a clinical trial, so we were able to get some new drugs into the mix for him. John Thorough Cancer Center does more phase one trials in the state of New Jersey and comparatively many places across the country do not have the number of trials, a number of drugs. We want success stories that Mark is an example of. After I was done with the treatment, they were telling me that I'm clear, I'm clean. I have no cancer. You're cancer free. That's it. You're cancer free. <laughs> okay. I was going to be there, so I never even thought about not being there. <laughs>